Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss two more reactions. They are uh, hell wolhard zelensky reaction or it is also called HVZ reaction and second one riemer tiemann reaction. Both of these reactions are very important and each reaction carries two marks. And this hell wolhard zelensky reaction or HVZ reaction is very very easy. So carboxylic acids having alpha hydrogens. We know what are alpha hydrogens and all. We have discussed it in the previous videos of aldol condensation and all. And carboxylic acids having alpha hydrogens react with the halogens in the presence of red phosphorus to give alpha halo carboxylic acids. This reaction is called HVZ reaction. So we'll try to understand the meaning of the statement. Carboxylic acids means the compounds which are having COOH as a functional group having alpha hydrogens. What is alpha hydrogen? The carbon atoms next to the functional group is called alpha carbon. This is alpha carbon and this carbon is having two hydrogen atoms. These two are alpha hydrogens, right? So let me mention this is alpha carbon. This is a functional group COOH and this carbon is called number one and this is called number two and this second carbon is called as alpha carbon right this is having two hydrogens here two alpha hydrogens now it reacts with the uh, halogens we know what are halogens the previous video we have discussed halogens are nothing but 17 group elements like fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so it reacts with the halogen here one of the alpha hydrogens is uh, substituted by halogen atom that means you remove one hydrogen from here and substitute uh, halogen x in the place of hydrogen then it becomes a or ch because one hydrogen is replaced by x or chx or chx and cooh this is the final product formed and this is called alpha halo carboxylic acid this is a carboxylic acid and at alpha carbon one halogen is present so it is called alpha halo carboxylic acid this is a very simple statement and a simple reaction. Next, uh, we'll move on to the second reaction, riemer tiemann reaction. Let's see what is the statement of riemer tiemann reaction. Phenol on reaction with chloroform. Phenol, this is phenol C6H5OH. Then OH is substituted on benzene ring. It's called phenol and reacts with chloroform in the presence of sodium hydroxide. Chloroform CHCl3 is a formula of chloroform reacts with phenol in presence of aqueous NaOH to give salicyl aldehyde. Salicyl aldehyde. In our previous videos, while we, have, we were discussing about uh, Kolb's reaction, we have seen the formula of carb, uh, salicylic acid. Salicylic acid. Similar to that, here, salic here salicylic aldehyde will be formed. This is benzene and this one is a uh, benzaldehyde benzene combines with aldehyde group cho is a aldehyde group this is called benzaldehyde in this benzaldehyde if hydroxy group is substituted hydroxy means oh group is substituted alcoholic group is substituted then it is called salicylic aldehyde and it's also called ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde or you can say simply 2 hydroxy 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde whereas in Kolb's reaction we have got uh, 2 hydroxy benzoic acid in the place of CHO we have got COOH okay I think you have remembered that so if you can re if you can go through uh, Rima Tiemann reaction and uh, Kolb's reaction together and you can easily understand the difference so that's all that is Rima Tiemann reaction so what is Rima Tiemann reaction phenol reacts with chloroform in the presence of uh, aqueous NaOH gives salicyl aldehyde or ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde this can also be called as a 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde 